Don't forget, if you like art and you want to show it, uh, pick up a Halloween drawing sticker. Uh, these are only going to be around till October 31st, 2022. Uh, and then after that, I'm going to take them away forever. Uh, so pick one up before then. I put these on water bottles. I put these on, you know, on my laptop. I put them all over the place. Uh, but definitely pick one up if you like showing your spirit. Anyways, let's get back. Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a Venom ghost. Okay, it's going to be like the head of Venom and stuff like that, but it's going to be the body of a ghost. So let's get started. I uh, love Halloween. I love Spider-Man. So this is kind of the way to merge them a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw Venom's eye. And I'm going to go over here. Oh, by the way, don't forget to stay till the very end because if you do, it's just a five minute video. If you do, that's really where it ingrains in your head, like this whole thing. So definitely stay till the end if you can. Curve up right here. We're starting with Venom's eye. And it kind of wiggles up, right? Kind of like a seesaw pattern. And it's anything. You can just as long as the seesaw is on the way up, it's fine. Doesn't really matter how many spikes and stuff like there are. Curve in. Line over here now. We're the opposite side. Same thing. Curve over here. Line over here for the edge of his smile. Line over here for the edge of his smile on this side. And then we're going to draw a line across. Okay? Gonna go down here and I'm gonna find the teeth right there. Like so, got the teeth. There's various different sizes of triangles aimed downward realistically. That's kind of mostly it. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull a wiggly line out for the tongue. Same thing over here on this side. So you got his tongue out there. Line right here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find a darkness here underneath the teeth, like the shadow. Just a little bit of one to kind of really make that, you know, kind of substantial. I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna find the lower teeth, right? So just over here, just almost like it's grass or something. Line down, a couple of teeth along the edge. And realistically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the back of the jaw over here. So I'm gonna start over here ish, down, go down, lower jaw, curve underneath, up. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna make that eye the edge. Circle along the back there, down, over here. But now let's take care of his ghost body, right? Right over here, we've got his little tendril of an arm. I want to wiggle it down, you know, very dramatic, right? Very dramatic drama over here. That other arm looks almost cute, right? That way we're kind of like taking his cool buff body away and <laughs> give him this ghost-like body, almost like Venom Genie, but no. Venom Ghost. Well, we can give him a little bit of a body here. We can draw a line down here for the middle of his pectoralis, curve back up, down over here, curve back up. Line over here, curve. Line over here, curve, line. There we go. Line right here for the top of the pectoralis. If you want to learn all about re like real anatomy, like full blown, like if you want to be the expert at anatomy, go check out sketchingeasy.com. I got sketches, I got uh, lessons over there. I also got lessons, full blown lessons on skillshare.com. Go take a look at that as well. Both that link is in the description, by the way, for that stuff. Um, like for full-blown anatomy because that's, that's kind of what I'm doing I'm like taking partially real anatomy but I'm putting it into this ghost kind of thing this cute little ghost body 
line over here up there for the top of the deltoid, top of the deltoid. Curve over here, curve over here. Abs, line, line. It's got venom abs, right? And so now everything else is going to be just kind of added detail. So we'll add a little extra dark right here for the kind of lower portion of that tongue, just a bit. Go over here to the inner mouth. Line over here, curve underneath, line over here. Line right here under the neck. Striations from the chest right there, from the pectoralis. A little bit of striation. Line over here, line over here, line over there. Just kind of throwing in these lines to, and I say this in every video, by the way, if you haven't heard this, I like throwing in these extra thin lines because detail lines tend to be thin, not always, but many times tend to be thin. I like to throw in these thin lines to make it look more complex than it is. It's like an illusion and you're making someone think that you're drawing better than you actually are, truthfully. That's the way I see it. So you're adding little thin stuff to this uh, because your mind reads the primary shapes, right? It reads the primary shapes, which is the obvious. And then it reads the small shapes after that. And it just kind of goes like, wow, there's a lot of work in that. That's kind of like the vibe. Wow, that's a lot of work. So, anyways. I want to thank you very much. Uh, I got a free gift for you. Uh, I created uh, Halloween drawing templates, uh, meaning it's like step one, step two, step three, step four, like a sheet, like a printout sheet. I created a hundred of them. So there's literally a hundred uh, templates for Halloween. Uh, it's based on like past lessons that we had here. And I used to sell this product because there's literally over a hundred. That's insane, right? But, picketing the line a little bit on the side here. But uh, I decided to give them out for free. So that's my gift to you just for being a viewer. Uh, so go uh, pick that up at the, I think the second link in the description section. Um, they're literally made to print. That's literally something I used to sell. But like I said, 100% free for you for getting to this point in the video. Uh, thank you so much. I think you are awesome. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Have a great day. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna create a little bit more dark line over here on this. I just feel like it needs a thicker line. I guess I'll do it for the tongue too. Just I'll do it for everything. But yeah, thanks so much. Uh, I want you to stay spooky. I want you to continue to be this cool uh, Halloween artist that you are right now. And uh, yeah, there's always good stuff in this. And uh, thank you so much. Talk to you later. And I'll see you very, 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 very soon because I post three times a day until Halloween. See you later.